we are going to start is open office base so base is actually database software in open office now the first one is create a new database okay and if you have already created you can select this open an existing and uh, to select that location click here open button okay and since we are creating offline database we are not supposed to click this connect to an existing okay. and here also do not register the database okay. and then finish now it will ask you to save file this database with some name For example, I am giving it name standard 11. Now this is base window. Now I am giving you some basic information about database. So database nowadays is very common. Almost every organization or individual person also using this database. So database is actually collection of data and uh, the kind of data is relevant so in one database there is relevant data and why we we are going to create this database to organize data and uh, whenever we want information from the data we can search easily so there are two terms data and information so what is data and what is information so basically if we speak about data it is raw fact and figures so this is the primary data that we collect to create a database for example uh, if we want to create database of school and if i write something like uh, for example 10th of january 19 uh, sorry 2005 10th january 2005 so this is a raw data that means on which day uh, on this date uh, this date is for what for example it can be an admission date for a student or a date of birth of any student or it can be a living dates school living date of any student or any examination date like that so this date itself becomes information when we process the data so data and information are relative terms so in real life for example if i give you one example uh, like uh, sugarcane so sugarcane for a farmer is final product so that is processed data information okay so like in terms of data and information sugarcane for a farmer is information that is final output but that sugarcane goes to he sell to uh, a sugar factory wherein it again becomes data that is raw material okay so data and information depends on the perspective for what purpose we are using that same way uh, in our school database for example marks scored in class 11th english test that is for example uh out of 50 if someone has scored 35 marks so that is information in english i have secured 35 marks but now since this is information in this term uh, for this purpose but if i want to calculate total and grade at that time it will again become data that means uh, different other subject marks will be calculated and this this will become data at that time marks of english now there are data models data model means different ways of storing the data so for example let us discuss definition of database so database is a collection of related data items stored in an organized manner okay so database is organized collection of data so for example uh, in terms of school database that we are going to create uh, when i create one table uh, called student at that time uh, in student table i am going to store details which are 
related to student learning. When I create a table named teacher, at that time I'm going to store details about the teacher only. And then according to need, that means uh, for example, which student, uh, which teacher is teaching in which class and which subject. At that time, I am going to link different tables, okay, and uh, so that it is also called relational database management system, that is RDBMS. Now we are going to summarize some top, uh, points related to database management. Okay, actually, what uh, we do in database management. So first one is adding data into the database with the corrections required as and when noticed. So once the database is created, so in future, uh, it might happen that uh, students has changed his residential address, okay? He is relocated or that student has changed his mobile number. At that time, we have to add that edit the database uh, with new values that is called editing database because if that user a student has changed this mobile number and uh, we have not modified our database according to new data so when for any reason if school is going to contact that student uh, they will not able to contact that person okay so for an efficient database uh, whenever changes occur uh, we have to add them or edit them okay, this is the point editing next is removing unnecessary data from the database so whenever a student take li uh, living certificate from the school he is moving to a new school or if he is passed out from the 12th so we are supposed to remove that student's data from the database. That is uh, removing unnecessary data from the database, if any. This is one such example. Organizing the database in a proper manner. So here we are going to store data in different tables. So that is organizing database. So whatever fields are required, for example, student table will contain basic details about student that is contact uh, address, contact number, uh, then date of birth, uh, studying in which class like that, blood group, email ID, etc. And when we create a result table at that time, it will require only GR number of the student because already other details are there in student table like his name address etc so when we are creating user uh, result table we are supposed to write gr number and then marks of individual subjects there so we are going to organize that data in proper manner in different tables then retrieval of data for example if we have created uh, one table of sports so if any student has uh, secured uh, a position in any tournament and we are keeping that record in sports table so if uh, there is a need to create a cricket team for any tournament that uh, schools sports teacher want to send a team to for a tournament at that time he can easily get the names according to some criteria like students studying from this class to this class and those who have achieved something and according to that filter he will get this result within two or three seconds only so retrieval of data is that much fast even if this database is having thousands of records so within few seconds only we can filter results and uh, we can get data according to some conditions the most important backup of database this database backup we have to keep so accidentally if it gets deleted or if uh, some wrong entries uh, by an unauthorized person is being done at that time we can 
restore original database okay so this backup can be scheduled okay so that we are not supposed to uh, take backup manually every day or uh, after some time and uh, whatever schedule we set for example every day at around 3 pm then at that time this database will get uh, backed up automatically without any user interface allowing multiple users to access database simultaneously so it should be multi user capacity it is it should have multi user capacity for example a clerk in a school is going to add something in database class teacher is going to add some data according to his or her requirement like result or attendance like that same way principal is also accessing that database for different purposes so it should allow multiple users okay uh, to use so it should uh, also allow different languages to be used there so it should not be there in a particular system of one single computer but it should allow data to be stored from multiple places okay so that each user of this database can add data or edit data uh, from their own place 